Hey guys, it's Bob, and today I'm going to show you how to set up um, your own EFI for your Hackintosh. Um, some guys say uh, you don't want to use configurators like uh, Open Core or um, Clover or OCAD. They say, oh, they break stuff and this, that, and the other. Well, you know, yeah, that may be true, but if you're looking to get into to Hackintoshing, you don't know a whole lot, that's going to be the easiest way to get your foot in the door. You can also go out and find EFIs that are supposedly made for your computer, um, but, you know, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Sometimes some of it works, sometimes some of it doesn't. And, um, you know, just to, to get it up and booted and then start learning about how to set up things correctly, um, making your own EFI is probably the way to go. And that way, too, you're starting with as little extra junk in there as, as possible. And... Um, if you know how to do other things, uh, set up your own plist with text editor or proper tree or something along those lines, and you have that experience, you know what you're doing there, then this video is not for you. This is for somebody who's just starting out, doesn't know a whole lot, wants to play with getting into the Hackintosh, um, wants to get in and get their feet wet and get it set up so they can start tinkering in an hour or so versus you know having to sit down and read everything here and everything there and then move over there and read some more and spend days reading and figuring the stuff out um you know before they can even start to set up their efi then um this is for you so the first thing you want to do is you want to go in and grab open court configurator And it's going to be this one here. Uh, so what you do is you come down here and uh, you can either download there or you can just open core configurator download. And you also got the option if you want to do Clover, you can come over here and download your Clover. But um, I'm using open core. I found that to be a little bit easier than Clover. I didn't spend much time with Clover, but I, when I looked at it, I just got confused. Um, so anyway, you'll click that down there and then it'll download your zip file. You'll unzip it and do all that good stuff. And then once you get all that done, you'll have just your um, open core configurator. Right now, 9.2 is the latest as of recording. Um, that's what I've already uh, downloaded and I've got. And then if you come up over here to your uh, menu, you'll have open core and then file, uh, edit, format, tools, or excuse me, view, and then tools. Go down to tools and EFI maker. That's what we want to do. Um, I've already selected a few things here, uh, but what you'll do is you'll probably come up with the EFI maker and you won't have anything selected and you won't have anything checked or any of this other log stuff down here. Um, today I'm going to do KB Lake processor model. Uh, that's the code name for your processor. I think believe that's the seventh gen uh, Intel processor. Uh, if you have a laptop, you want to come over here and pick your, your um, processor there, or if you've got an AMD. And then um, open core mod and related files will be unchecked. Uh, I usually check those too. And then come over to the Symbios, uh, Symbios. And then um, for the KB Lake, the 18.1 iMac is the best, um, closest match for that one, for the KB Lake desktop. And then once you have all that put in, you'll click on make. It will do all this log stuff here, and then after that, it will pop up your EFI. If you go into um, it's in the uh, Apple uh, file tree, it's uh, documents, and then um, it'll come with uh, oh, right here, documents, OCC, EFI maker, and then the name of this folder here that we're in, and that's where your EFI is. It'll give you stuff in your boot folder for boot 64 EFI, and then your OC folder, 
uh, which has your config plist and then your couple of ACPI items as well as drivers, kex, your other stuff here. So if we'll shut this down and then open our config, config plist with um, open core, you'll see the uh, ACPIs here. And those are just the basic ones to get you up and running, get you started. Um, booter, there's not a whole lot in. It already selects your um, your uh, quirks down here on most everything. Uh, you do want to go over to the Dortania guide and just double check and make sure you've got everything because they go into uh, specifics like I'm on a Dell um, so when I get down here uh, I'll want to do this and then here if you don't unlock your CFG um, then you'll need the CFG lock ticked and then if you don't do your um, DMVT uh, RAM set that in in your BIOS you'll also want to have this here but uh, on mine I've done all that so for my Dell, I only need this here. And then um, you've got these two basic kecks in here. If you, what you wanna do with, with this folder here, okay, is you wanna take this and then copy paste it to the boot USB that you've already made to install um, Mac OS on your Hackintosh. So what you do is you go into your EFI after it's mounted, you'll delete the folder that's there, you'll copy paste this one into that EFI, and then you can add things um, like these download update texts. So what you'll need is typically Lulu, you'll need virtual SMC, whatever green, uh, the Apple, Apple ALC, you'll need a um, Air ethernet driver right there. And as soon as this gets done, Okay, so you'll want to come back through. You'll need some sort of an Ethernet driver. Uh, for my Dell 7050, it's going to be an Intel Mozzie. And then you'll also need this Apple ALC, whatever green, virtual SMC, and Lilu. Um, and if you see here, virtual SMC and Lilu are already there. Uh, but typically, I go ahead and I download those anyway. So I take those four, and then for my Dell, 7050 I do the Intel Mozzie and then I click download and then once it's in that USB folder uh, EFI then it will actually populate your partition and your location and you'll actually be able to download if I click download now it's not going to do that because I'm still in the um, documents folder over here on my Mac uh, let's see so we kind of skimmed over a few things here booter there was was not a whole lot of anything that you need to do. Uh, device properties, they'll add those two. <coughs> the first one here is for audio. That one didn't work for me. <coughs> Excuse me. The second one is for your graphics card. That one worked. Uh, I needed to make some adjustments to get it to work perfectly, but that'll get you up and running for the time being. Um, the kernel down here was what we were just w went through. Uh, the miscellaneous there, uh, tools, you need open shell EFI, you want to download uh, clean NV RAM, and then what you do is once you're making changes in your plist to test those changes when you boot, because um, you, you're going to need to reboot between each change, you'll click on clear or clean NV RAM at boot, and then you'll have to reboot. <coughs> Sorry about that, my allergies are acting up. <clears throat> uh, you'll click on NVRAM to clear out any settings that you had in the last plist before it loads this new one. Um, the other thing you're going to want is this Control MSR E2 to um, check your CFG lock and it'll tell you whether or not it's locked. And then you also want UEFI modify, and that is not in here. You'll have to go out and grab that. I'll see if I can't find a link to it um, and place it in the description down below if I can. Um, and then uh, if you go down here to NVRAM, if you go to your 
third one here, the C9 F82. You'll have your boot arguments. You can make uh, put different boot arguments in there depending on what you need for your audio uh, card or your graphics card. And then what this uh, dash V is, that's for verbose. So when you boot up, you're gonna see a whole bunch of lines of text just scrolling on by fast. Um, you won't see the Apple uh, boot logo until later. So once you get done with all your uh, modifications and you know your EFI is working, you're booting into Apple just fine, your, your graphics card, your sound, sleep, all that good stuff is working, then you can remove that V um, because if you remove it before that, you won't see where it's hanging up in your, um, your boot process and you won't be able to, to go out and get help. So for the time being, leave that V in there and then um, platform info okay we kind of did that already but um, you'll want to go ahead and add sections and then generate your um, UUID and your serial number uh, so you'll do that after you go back down here and select your match again uh, for the Dell 7050 again it's going to be uh, iMac 18.1 so once you do that, it's going to populate a bunch of this stuff. Click generate, generate, add, and then come up here to data hub. <clears throat> uh, I click add on those two as well, and then I just generate again. Uh, three spots, one there, one there, and one over here. Last section here is the UEFI. Um, basically, you've got just a bunch of different stuff in here. Uh, drivers, you wanna make sure that that stuff is in there. Uh, you can up, up to, or download and update drivers there. Um, and then typically what you wanna do is you want to come up here and go to the Dortania um, install guide. And then just come over here to configs and then go like we were just setting up a KB Lake. So we'll go to KB Lake and you can see that you're here. And then it, again, it's talking about proper tree here. Um, that's well and good if you know how to use that. If you wanna just get quick and, and get up and running, that's what uh, the uh, open core um, configurators for them. So what you do you do is come down through and you'll see the tabs so ACPI if you pull up your configurator ACPI you can go through and you can check and make sure that you've got the correct things for uh, KB Lake like we saw the S SDT plug we saw the SSDT EC USB X the booter um, there's not a whole lot to do here um, you get some explanation about some of this stuff, uh, but device properties, again, that's your, um, your audio and video, or that's rather your video. <clears throat> and then it gives you some settings there if you want to try those. Uh, if you come down here to kernel, like here, okay, this, these are your quirks. This is what I was talking about so that you want to double check. So this is for Dell or VAIO or VIAO systems. And then this is specific to HP systems. So you want to make sure based on your system that you've got the correct quirks in there. And I'll go down here and it'll list them all again. <clears throat> if you don't like to look at that, that tree, um, so it'll tell you what it is and what it needs to be done with and then any information you need to know about it. So you'll just come through and then go through all that. It's a whole page full of stuff. And then when you get done making sure that all your stuff matches, what you do is you go up to file and then you can save. And then once you save, it's gonna save it back to your USB um, installation uh, drive. So, and again, remember, you need to come over to your, uh, to your file here and then copy paste that into your boot EFI, boot USB EFI. 
Otherwise, you're not going to be able to make those changes like I was talking about in the download and update uh, sections. All right. I hope that gets you started. Um, look for the link. Links for the UEFI download in the description below. And also, you'll find the link for uh, Open Core Configurator Clover Configurator in the links below, as well as the Dortania. Um, setup guide and then a link to my Amazon um, store uh, as with any of the other YouTube channels you know you purchase stuff from there uh, through Amazon it doesn't cost you anymore um, and I get a small kickback from Amazon so if you need USB uh, flash drives to install if you're gonna upgrade Wi-Fi cards RAM whatever just uh, take a look at the Amazon links below and uh, I appreciate you shopping with me and watching the videos. If I can do anything to help you, make a comment in the comment section below. Thanks. Bye-bye.